So number seven then from the 2015 Advanced Air Maths, Euclidean algorithm for four marks. And you can see straight away here that the greatest common divisor is going to be one because it's stated in this little Diophantine equation here. So what have we got? Just a bit of number crunching. So we start with 3066, divide it by 713, and if the remainder is zero, then 713 is your greatest common divisor. But that means I've got to do the division. Best thing to do is just use your calculator. So we've got 3066, divide it by 713, press equals, got the fraction, very handy, but better than that, press shift and the fraction button again, and you've got it as a mixed number, which says it goes four times, 4 times 713 with the numerator 214 left over. So that wasn't it. Let's start again then. 713 divided by 214. 713 divided by 214. Press the fraction button again and it goes 3 times. 3 times 214 with a 71 in the numerator for being left over. So I've still not reached it. So we start again. 214 now divided by 71. How many 71s can I get in this? 214 divided by 71. And I've got, press the fraction button again, three again. Three of them with one left over. Well, that's it. I don't need to go ahead and say, well, how many times does one go in? Will there be a remainder? Because obviously the remainder will be zero. So one's it. So that means the greatest common divisor of 3066 and 713 is equal to 1. Now the marks were given as starting it off for one mark and reaching 1, but not necessarily stating it this way, just reaching 1, I'll put it here anyway, for the second mark. But now we've got to reconstruct this equation from this. So what is that 1 equal to? Do it backwards first of all. Well, that one was equal to 214 take away three lots of 71. That's why I prefer to have these multiples at the front there rather than the other way around, which when you look at other texts is a much more common way to put it down. And then say now that 71 can be replaced by, so I've got 214 minus three times, now this 71 can be replaced by 713 minus three lots of 214. And this line can be tidied up because I've only got 214s and 713s. So it says I've got plus nine of them. So plus that one means I've got 10 lots of 214 minus three lots of 713. And now I can replace that 214. So okay, it's the last line now. That 214 can get replaced by, and I've got 10 of them. The 214 is equal to 3066. Minus four lots of the 713, minus three lots of the 713. So finally, I've got 10 of them, 10 lots of 3066, that's minus 40, minus another three, minus 43 lots of 713. I'll just put the one in this side, which is the equivalent equation to this one. Or rather, it's one of them. We only have to find one pair of integers that works. So for this one, we have to finally state it though, that p was the multiple of 3066, so p equals 10, and the q is the multiple of 713, so the q is the negative 43. And the marks for this part would have been not just that initial statement, but starting to substitute it was here, and then finally the last mark was for stating what's the values of p and q.